An agreement of sale is sometimes called an offer to purchase agreement. It outlines all the important details of the transaction. This agreement is legally binding. It's crucial to understand everything in the agreement before signing. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Your real estate agent can help clarify any confusion. A clear agreement ensures the process is smooth sailing. Every real estate deal involves at least two parties, the buyer and the seller. The buyer is the person or entity purchasing the property. The seller is the current owner. Sometimes real estate agents are involved too. A buyer's agent represents and guides the buyer. They help find the perfect property and negotiate the best deal. A seller's agent assists the seller. They help market the property and negotiate with potential buyers. The agents work to ensure a smooth transaction for their clients. The agreement clearly identifies the property being sold. It includes the full address and legal description. The agreement also specifies what's included with the property. This could be appliances, fixtures, or even outdoor structures. A clear understanding of the property details prevents misunderstandings down the line. Section five, determining the purchase price. The purchase price is a key element of the agreement. This is the amount the buyer agrees to pay for the property. The agreement outlines the payment method. This could involve cash, a mortgage, or a combination of both. It also specifies the payment timeline. This includes the deposit amount and when the remaining balance is due. A clear understanding of the purchase price and payment terms is crucial. It ensures the transaction proceeds smoothly according to both parties' expectations. Section six, taking possession, occupation and rent. The agreement specifies the occupation date. This is the day the buyer can officially move into the property. It also addresses any rent payments. If the buyer moves in before the registration, they may need to pay occupational rent to the seller. This compensates the seller for the time the buyer occupies the property before officially owning it. The amount of occupational rent and the payment terms are clearly outlined in the agreement. This ensures fairness and transparency for both the buyer and the seller during the transition period. Section seven, seller warranties and guarantees. The seller provides certain warranties in the agreement. They guarantee they have the legal right to sell the property. They also confirm there are no hidden issues that could affect the property's value. These warranties protect the buyer from unforeseen problems. Knowing the seller is guaranteeing certain aspects provides peace of mind for the buyer. As section nine, transferring ownership, the registration process. The agreement clarifies who is responsible for registering the property in the buyer's name. It also specifies who bears the costs associated with this registration process. This includes transfer duties, legal fees, and any other related expenses. Clearly outlining these responsibilities in the agreement prevents any confusion or disputes later on. This ensures a smooth and transparent transfer of ownership. Section 10, Seller's Obligations and Compliance. The seller has certain obligations to fulfill before the property transfer is complete. This includes providing necessary certificates. For example, they might need to provide an electrical compliance certificate or a plumbing certificate. These certificates confirm that certain aspects of the property meet the required standards. This protects the buyer from inheriting potentially hazardous or non-compliant installations. Section 11, suspensive conditions, when agreements hinge on specifics. Sometimes the agreement includes suspensive conditions. These are specific events or actions that must happen before the agreement becomes legally binding. For instance, the buyer might need to secure a mortgage loan or the sale might be contingent upon a satisfactory home inspection. If these conditions are not met, the agreement becomes null and void. This protects both the buyer and the seller from being bound to an agreement they cannot fulfill. Section 12, consequences of breach of agreement. The agreement outlines what happens if either party doesn't hold up their end of the bargain. This is known as a breach of contract Consequences can vary depending on the severity of the breach. It could involve financial penalties or even legal action. Understanding the consequences of a breach emphasizes the importance of fulfilling obligations. It encourages both parties to adhere to the agreed upon terms. 
Section 13. Importance of understanding the agreement. The offer to purchase agreement is a crucial document in any real estate transaction. It protects both the buyer and the seller. It ensures a smooth and legally sound transfer of property. Before signing, it's vital to read and understand every single clause. Your real estate agent is there to guide you through the process and clarify any confusion.